Welcome back. This is Jalad of GMAC Productions, and today I'm going to talk about synthesis. Um, just a few days ago, I learned about it, and it really astounded me because it gave me a different perspective on how I hear sound this time. It's synthesis, by the way, gives a language for sound. And basically, all music producers should know about this, um, how to use a synthesizer, how to create sounds using a synthesizer. And it, there are five things that you need to know on synthesis. And really, once you know them, you'd be able to, there's a lot of possibilities in your sound creation, okay? So um, you have to know about the oscillator, the filter, the amplifier, the LFO, and the envelope. Before I usually get confused on how to use a synthesizer, because I just load a preset and then boom, just uh, put some, uh, Put some notes on my MIDI keyboard and that's it but right now when I found out about the five fundamentals and how to create sound using synthesizer it really really astonished me and gave me a lot of possibilities so let's um, I'm really excited on how to take it I'm still confused though but I'm really really excited and how the, the, the additional knowledge that I have right now. So basically today I'd like to compare the graphical interface of four different synthesizers. So once you know the five fundamentals, even though how confusing the knobs and the buttons there on the synthesizer, you would know where to go, okay? So the first synthesizer is the memory moon. All right, the oscillator side is at the middle, which is here. And then at the, at the right side is the filter or the voltage controlled filter. And then the left side of the oscillator is the modulation or the LFO, okay? Um, and then the amplifier is here at the bottom of the filter. And then the envelopes are here. Uh, the envelope, you know, there's the attack, decay, sustain, release buttons or the ADSR. So this is the memory moon synthesizer. Now, um, let's see another one, which is the uh, Tyrell N6. So this one, I really like the color, okay? So basically the oscillator is here at the left side, then the filter is here at the right, then the mixer is, the, is, a, is at the middle, which mixes both oscillators, by the way. The LFO is at the bottom of the oscillator, um, then the envelopes are here, and there's also the amplifier, which, is, which shapes the volume of the sound, which is here. So once you know, then you could you know, just tinker, okay? Now, the third one is the ILO synth uh, one, which is kind of cute for me here. It's, it's visually, it's really cute. Um, it's more organized for me. Um, I, I don't really get confused um, compared to the, the two uh, synthesizers uh, earlier. So here, um, it's being organized by rows. So on the first row or the top row, the, the oscillators are there and they also have a pitch envelope. And the second row is the filters. Um, then they also have a filter envelope. Third row is the LFO, the two LFOs that they have. And at the fourth or the bottom are the mixer, the amp amplifier envelope, the chorus, delay, and the master. So basically, this is ILO synth one. Now let's check another one, which is the impulse. Oh, where is it? Okay, it's here. Sorry. So imp the Impulse um, synthesizer has a lot of knobs and it's quite organized as well and for a, for a small synthesizer in the graphical context but it, it it has a lot of knobs. So at the first or the top row is the oscillator. They have two and then the second instead of the filter is the LFO1 and the LFO2. They have two as well. Then the amplifiers here uh, which is the volume. The envelopes are here as well. It, and it also controls the amplifier, the envelopes. Then there's also the filter. They also have an envelope here. And then the good thing about this, it has stereo effects. So if you want to, you know, ha if you have, if you want your sound to have a stereo effect, you can, you can tinker here. And then there's the overdrive, which is um, a distortion for the sound. So basically, the, all the synthesizers have these the five fundamentals. Okay, once you know the five fundamentals of synthesis you'll be able to identify that on a synthesizer okay so i hope you learned a lot from this lesson um thank you please like and subscribe thank you for watching my videos have a great day bye bye